Well, so here we are at a very exciting time for the foundation, the most exciting in our history. We're also at a time that's most challenging for the foundation, the most challenging time in our history. What we heard from Eric this morning and Paul yesterday about what challenges mean. They, they cause you to rise to a new level to do things you didn't think you could do. And this foundation has been doing that for 41 years, so we're not going to stop now. The challenge that we have is that clinical trials cost a lot more money than laboratory research. It costs a whole lot more to move these clinical trials that are underway now and the ones that are that are in the wings to get them to where we can get FDA approval and, and get them to the marketplace. Uh, so we've been, we're very proud of the fact that over the years we've raised close to $500 million to invest in this research over the last 41 years. That's, as, uh, as Eric taught us today with a positive, uh, well, with his, his uh, with yin and yang, that's the good news. The bad news is we got to raise, because we've had such success, we've got to raise another 500 million or half a billion with a B soon if we're going to move these things forward and get the job done, do our work and get it done. So I don't mean to scare people, but that's really the reality of it. And I believe we can do it. Now, uh, in order to, uh, to position us to do that as, as well and as quickly as possible, the board of directors and the staff took a hard look at every aspect of our organization in, in the last several months. Uh, and out of that look, we developed a strategy and a set of priorities to help us get to where we've got to go. Uh, you'll hear about a number of those in the coming months. But there is one, there is actually two changes uh, that, uh, that came out of this that we want you to be aware of and share with you tonight. You're our members, we want you to hear it, and it's going to start right now. So uh, what, what we did was we, you all know that any, the foundation, like any organization, has a brand. Uh, and uh, the brand is all about uh, summing up what you are about, wh who you are, and what you are about, what you're doing, what, what you stand for. Uh, and branding is extremely important, more important in this world today than ever before. There are an awful, there's an awful lot of competition over the internet and, uh, and certainly over the TV and the news media. And you have to have a strong brand in order to succeed. We have to succeed. We have to reach out our network further. We've got to attract more people, more support, partnerships with pharma and the rest. So we need a strong brand that really uh, stands up and, and stands out and describes our mission. So we took a hard look at that. Uh, and we are tonight going to unveil two changes that we're making to our brand. Uh, we've been very fortunate to have the services of the, the world's greatest advertising firm, in my mind, Leo Burnett, uh, worldwide, which uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute, but in, in, in developing this. And so tonight we're going to introduce two major changes, very specific ones that the board feels are absolutely necessary. The first one is, has to do with the National Neurovision Research Institute, or NNRI. It's, it's the clinical research arm of the foundation. What it's all about is facilitating and enabling the translation of laboratory research to, through the preclinical or drug development stage and into clinical trials and on through as far as we have to go before, hopefully, Big Pharma or Big Biotech picks them up and takes them through the distribution of the marketplace. But uh, what we're going to do, since, since it's our clinical research arm, we're going to call it the Foundation Fighting Blindness Clinical Research Institute. So forget NNRI, you won't hear it anymore. We think this makes great sense. Uh, Now, the second and even more important change has to do with our logo. 
we really need to rebrand this foundation, and that's what all of this is about, a rebranding, so we're in better position to enlarge our network and to reach more people, raise more money. Uh, and so, uh, so we, we looked at the logo, which is really, uh, well, has been around for decades. And we decided we needed a new logo, a more modern one, and one that was really mission-based. What do I mean by mission-based? And it needs to say at a glance what we do, what we're all about, why we exist. Not just who we are, but what we are and what we're trying to do. Uh, so we feel we've got, thanks to Leo Burnett, we had the services of, of this great ad firm. Uh, to, to give you some perspective on how good they are, they're the advertising firm for the Kellogg Company. Now that's pretty darn good. For those of you who know my other interests, but they're also the ad agency for McDonald's and Coke and Procter and & Gamble and, and Visa, so they're not doing badly that way either. They're great people. Uh, they have, I think, the best uh, creative department going, and they lent that creative department to us to help uh, develop this logo, which is, uh, is very special. And we are fortunate. I'd love to tell you about this and unveil it, but I think it's even better to have the chief executive officer and chairman of Leo Burnett do that for you. He's here tonight with his wife, Martha. Uh, he is, uh, they're both uh, very long supporters of the foundation, and, uh, and he is a trustee, a national trustee of our foundation, so he knows us well. He's intimately familiar with us and knows our mission.